And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. With the wet weather that's already upon us and more wet weather in the forecast, that's got a few of us a little nervous on some of the area rivers, and one in particular just to the west of Rexburg. Yeah, Henry's Fork is acting up again. Right now, it sits below flood stage. Flood stage is 9.5 feet. It's at 9.2. It is possible with the rain and everything else we're getting that the river could rise to flood stage or above. And if that happens, flooding is certainly a possibility. Meanwhile, up in the mountains, we got white to show you. Winter weather advisory has been issued by the National Weather Service. Of course, up in Montana, eastern half of Lemhi County, about 6,500 feet and above. So that's above salmon. Salmon, don't, don't worry, but the mountaintops definitely getting some white. Yellowstone, the mountains around Jackson Hole, anywhere from 2 to 12 inches of snow until early Sunday morning. So this will be certainly a... a precipitation producer, if you will, liquid or frozen, depending on elevation. Right now, we're getting a lot of liquid out in the Arctic Desert. You can see the flow, all of it moving off towards the west. And of course, snow in the mountains, snow levels have dropped already down to about 7,000 feet for the central mountains. So a watchful eye on that. We zoom out. The reason why the, our precipitation is coming in from the, from the east is we have this area of low pressure, of course, counterclockwise flow around that so it spins up through Utah and then spins back off towards the west. And what's interesting about this low pressure system, it's actually wandered away from the highway for the storms. We call it a cutoff low. So there's, there's nothing to push this out of here. So it's just going to meander and take its little sweet time over the weekend and stay over the top of us providing wet weather for sure tomorrow and maybe even lingering way into Tuesday. So yeah, cutoff low pressure system. It's off the jet stream and just going to just hang out with us, whether we like it or not. 43 in Driggs right now, 42 in Blackfoot, Pocatello in the mid-40s. In fact, overnight, we're not going to be too much cooler than we are right now. We're in the 40s overnight for lows at least, 40 for low in Arco. Uh, even Island Park will stay above freezing at 36, 37 in Jackson. There's a chance of maybe some snow mixing with the rain. Then tomorrow it'll be all rain for most places, of course, until you get in those areas above 6,500 feet, and then it could be all snow. 56 for high in Dubois, 48 for high in Arco. At Pocatello, only 54. In fact, Rexburg will be three degrees warmer than Pocatello. Future trackers, we look ahead. Look at all that green. Rain for sure in the morning. We will get a little break around lunchtime, and then it starts to pick up again. And with that, you know, yellows and oranges, a risk of some thunderstorms. Of course, there's the snow in the mountains as well. Seven-day forecast for Pocatello. We'll try to see some improving weather on Sunday, maybe some actual sunshine. That'll be nice. But there's a chance of more wet weather. Temperatures will warm up a little bit Monday and Tuesday, and then we're back in the 70s next uh, Wednesday and Thursday and 80 a week from now. Wow, that'll be special. I know fall seven-day forecast. Rain likely tomorrow. Risk of thunderstorms. That could take us into Sunday. And the weather will try to improve Monday and Tuesday, but still threatening out there. And the Rexburg, same thing. Certainly a wet day tomorrow. We'll hit 60, though, on Sunday, a little warmer. Finally in those 70s, Wednesday and Thursday, mid-70s by next Friday. Teton area, seven-day forecast. Mainly rain for the Jackson, Afton, Driggs area. Could see some thunderstorms. But Sunday, rain and snow. And then more rain Monday, temperatures warm in the 70s by Thursday, and we'll back off a little bit once we get some sunshine on Friday. And for the Central Mountains, same wet weather, same pattern. We'll finally see dry weather by Wednesday. Highs in the mid-70s.